I'm gonna do my surprise LC, which is gross. Um, so I'll show you the setup. It's pretty much the same as last time, but except there's no fire pit. Uh, we're using good old camp stove. So that's what we're gonna be doing our cooking on, and we're gonna do, do, do we're gonna do the same side dish as the fish. It's gonna be the potato and potatoes and onions. So I don't think I won't show that. And if I think it's necessary, I'll just cut it in from the other video. But yeah, so here it is. Okay guys, so we've got the grouse here. As you can see, this is the recipe. Um, so what we're gonna do is, because I don't have a very good flaying knife, we're just gonna cut through the breastbone. Maybe. Okay, that might be a bad idea. I'm gonna try my hand at filleting this. Filleting the breastbone off it. Or filleting the breast meat. But I've never done this before, so... so what I'm just doing is I'm filleting the breastbone down. And then, if you can see under here, you can see there's a membrane. going over that little bone there and then you go back down and start going again and then you can open it up too and you want to make long strokes like I was making quick little strokes and that's actually not right but okay whatever so now it pretty much just pulls right off now except I'll just cut this bit So there you have your breastbone. And this here is just a vein, which you can take off. And obviously, they need the vein to pump and supply blood, so we'll just get rid of that. Oh, it was actually a tendon. So you definitely want to get rid of that. Okay, so here's your breast of quail, or grouse. And so I'm just going to do this with the other, the other three breasts and then Okay guys, so I've got the grouse done. Um, you can see uh, this darker part here is the breast, and the lighter part is actually the tenderloin, well loin, of yeah tenderloin, of the grouse. Uh, every bird has it I believe, but yeah, so what we're going to do now is we're going to season them, and I've got Old Bay seasoning and salt and pepper. So I'm just gonna do that and then I'll show you what they look like after they're done. Okay guys, so I'm just getting the oil for the pan and then we'll pan sear these babies. Make it delicious. Uh, when you're working with game, it's like rabbits and stuff, you have to be careful because they're a lot leaner than like store-bought chicken. Um, you can tell by how, I'll show you actually, uh, the skin's been taken off these and you see how like red they are and there's hardly any fat on them that means that they're fresh first of all and it also means that they'll dry out quickly so you need to cook them with fat so I've got two uh, packs of butter and some oil and I'm just gonna sear these up and then yeah that's that I'll show you when they're when I flip them and then when they're done and that'll be the end of this LC so Stay tuned and enjoy. Okay, so we've got the hot pan, hot oil, and we're just gonna add the grouse one breast at a time. And we'll add the tenderloins a little later because they're smaller so they'll cook quicker. Um, what I'm gonna do is after I get these on there, I'm gonna cover it with tin foil so that they can cook a little better. And that, then I'll show you after they're cooked. So yeah. Okay guys, so the gross is finished cooking. Um, here you go. Look at that, nice golden brown color. Delicious. So pretty much, you look for it done the same way you do in chicken. You can cut it open to see if it's done, 
or if you can just feel it and know it's done, then you can do that way. Um, it's gonna cook a little less. It's gonna take a little less time to cook than chicken because it's smaller, but it's pretty much the same thing. And you can do this with any meat or like anything you want. So that's an LC. That's your LC of gross. Um, a great shore lunch if you're fishing or hunting. And hope you enjoy. Thanks. Bye. So right now, Mike is chopping up potatoes, and he's going to put it into tin foil, and we'll get some butter and salt and pepper in with that. So I'll show you what that. See, he's just dicing it up, and then oh, oh, yeah. then he'll be putting it onto the tin foil. I don't know if you can hear me either because it's kind of windy, but yeah. So once that's done, we'll show you what that looks like and then we'll move on. Hey so, guys. So we've got the potatoes all diced up and now we're going to cut some onions to go with that. So we're just going to peel it first. And you just want to... It's raining. <laughs> yeah, it's raining. Uh, we just want to take off the outer layer because it's rough and gross. Okay, so we're just going to go chop it in half and just run through quickly. Oh, being a little dick. There you go. And then this one, same thing. Slightly uneven slices, but who cares, right? So now we're going to put it on top of the potatoes. Just break it up. And then by the, potato, by the time the potatoes are done cooking, the onions will be soft and sweet. Oh, there goes a the piece. Okay. So, we've got that. Now we're going to take some butter. Chop it up and just put it on top there. And then the butter is going to melt and keep everything moist. And you're also going to get liquid from the onions. And we'll throw some salt and pepper on there, but as much as you like, so we won't show that part. And then just cover it up and put it on the fire or a camp stove. And yeah, basically it'll be done when the potatoes are soft, so you can just like poke a fork through them, like really easily. Um, and yeah, and then you just open it up and... Serve it with the rest of your food. Okay guys, so here's the potatoes. We're just gonna open it up here. And hopefully, they're delicious. They smell really good, I'm not gonna lie. Oh man, they yeah. smell good. Oh, and look at that. Oh baby. See how like the onions are nice and soft and translucent? That means they're sweet. And you can see the paprika, which is that reddish coloring. And you see this bottom bit here? I don't know if you can. Let's try and baby some up. Oh, and the fork tender, see how it just like falls apart like that? Like you just Ooh, stick your fork in up. it. Good? <laughs> yeah, we're good. Yeah. So that's pretty much shore lunch, dinner, breakfast.